Though nowadays in the Big Apple, you can get a beer on just about every street in the city, back in the day it was a bit more difficult. In fact, when New York was first founded, back when it was known as New Amsterdam by its Dutch residents, there wasn't a single bar or brewery in sight. But that changed in 1612, when explorer Adrian Bloch, along with brewer Hans Christensen, founded the first brewery in New York. In fact, it was the first known brewery in all of America. Sitting in a log building on the southern tip of what is now Manhattan, Bloch and Christensen's brew house served an important function. Water was untrustworthy to the Dutch settlers because in the crowded cities of Europe it was often polluted by sewage and other pollutants. Water could make you sick. But beer would not. Because it was boiled in the brewing process, the bacteria and bugs that caused illnesses were cooked out of it, leaving a delicious beverage the whole family could enjoy. Seriously, even the kids were downing suds back then. Yay! Usually it was up to the women of the house to make the family's beer. But it wasn't always the best tasting stuff. <laughs> God bless her for trying, though. And besides, the town was overrun with sailors, fur trappers, and traders. Simply too many people for the overworked wives and moms to supply. The commercial brew house that Block and Christensen founded could supply beer to the growing settlement and help keep the explorers and fur trappers happy and healthy. The place was apparently so popular, it was even used for other activities. You see, the first white male born in America was actually born in the small log brewery. His name was Jean Vignet, and he would later grow up to be, guess what, that's right, a brewer. Only in New York. 